to get us underway. The first of a possible 15 frames. The first to eight to be crowned champion. What an occasion, Joe Johnson. Yes, absolutely. Well looked forward to this one. The head-to-head, -head, as been said, is 3-1 to Ding Junhui. But interestingly, they've only played once in the last five, six years. Ding won the last encounter. Oh, and that was very close. Yes, that was this season's UK Championship. On his way to the final, which he looks set to win for his fourth UK title. 6-1 up against Mark Allen, but lost 10-7. Early chance for Tepchaya. Yeah, he tried to hold for the black. And I think he may have got a kick. It sounded very kicky, but they do, don't they? He could have played down for the blue, bought colours and come back down for the reds. But when you play One. a shot like that slowly, full length of the table with drag, the cue ball can move slightly, and it only has to move ever so slightly, considering whether to go into the reds here. Well, that wasn't the best positional shot from such an easy black. It. He did very well in the end to regroup and come through his semi-final yesterday against Tom Ford, Ding Junhui, because at one stage he was 4-1 up. He was completely dominating the match and the table. Ford could barely pot a ball after winning the opening frame. And then Ding somehow contrived not to win the sixth frame to go 5-1 up, even though he had ball in hand after his opponent had fouled and missed on five consecutive occasions. And that could really have set him back. And indeed, Ford won three on the bounce from there, but he regrouped and won the last three frames to get into the final. So that was a measure of his resilience. Well, it's going to come down to this shot. Could have gone into the reds last time round from the blue. And that's okay. It's got reds to both middles. 22. Looking for his first title since 2019 when he won his third UK crown. It's been quite a barren spell for Ding. Fell out of the top 16, of course. Had to qualify for the UK Championship this season. Went all the way to the final. He could still get into the top 16 in time for the World Championship next month. He's currently at 24th in the world, but he's set to play in the Tour Championship for the top eight. That's a big money event. He's in seventh place on the one-year list. And we've got the WST Classic in Leicester next week. So there are still opportunities for Ding to break into the 16 and therefore earn a place at the Crucible as of right as a seeded player. And if he could lift the title this evening here in Thailand, well, that would be a big boost in that regard. Of course, this is an invitational event, no ranking points available here, but to win a major trophy again after such a long time without one. Yeah, good confidence builder, isn't it? And that black <laughs> takes Tepcha into the snookers. Required stage. This is the long red that he attempted with a lot of drag on the cue ball. Finished up catching it thick. May have got a kick, but he's been well and truly punished. Yeah, great to get a good start in a big match like this. Tepchire won't be panicking, of course. He was 5 2 down in his semi final against Fafai. Came through in a thrilling decider. Potted a quite brilliant black under pressure in the penultimate frame to force that deciding frame, which he dominated. But Ding looking sharp again, as he did for most of yesterday's match. Just a slight aberration in the centre of it that left the chance for Tom Ford to get back into contention before he pulled away again. And that can happen, can't it, in these short matches? 
you know, you have a, a little bit of a hiccup, but it's how you respond to adversity. And he did nice. respond very well. Great start, this. 55. Yes, he made three breaks over 60 yesterday in beating Ford, and what a start this is. 72. A 72 clearance, that has set the tone for this eagerly awaited final. And Ding Xiongwe queuing very smoothly in the opening frame. He leads Tepchira Nu, 1-0. Hi, I'm Ronnie O'Sullivan and welcome to Eurosport Snooker on YouTube. Click here to subscribe to Eurosport Snooker.